Hello, and welcome back to another INTJ University video. So, you think you know everything about what it's like being an INTJ? Well, pay close attention to this video because we might surprise you. We discovered 14 interesting facts that you might never have heard about INTJs, and trust us, some of them were very unexpected. But before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more INTJ content. All right, if you're as ready as we are, let's get right into it. Number 1. You are very special. No, seriously, you really are. Studies conducted by the Center for Applications of Psychological Type and the Myers-Briggs Company have shown that only 2.1% of the United States population are INTJs. That's the third rarest personality type behind ENTJ and INFJ, which tops the ranking. The same studies have also shown that 3% of men in the United States are INTJs, and you're not going to believe how many INTJ women are out there. A total percentage of 1. That's right, you are definitely the main character of this story, and the rest are simply spectators. Number 2. Gifted Students Another study focusing on the psychological types of academically gifted teenagers demonstrate that from 5,723 gifted students from the 6th to 12th grade, INTJs ranked second. The most commonly mentioned personality type found among the gifted was INFP. Isabel Briggs Myers also wrote in her book, MBTI Manual, that INTJs finish college with the highest GPAs. That's quite impressive. Number 3. The Ideal Place to Live INTJs are strongly analytical, curious, reserved, and very intelligent persons. They prefer quiet, tidy, polite, and organized places with a correct legal system and people who are too busy with their own life to be preoccupied with small chit-chat at the subway station. Because of their intellect, they are more likely to study something science and technology related such as biology or mathematics. A great country for an INTJ could be Japan, Germany, Sweden, or Switzerland. But what do you think? Where would you like to live? Tell us in the comments. Number 4. Compliments if you feel you've already been complimented too much in this video, then you're absolutely an INTJ. Most INTJs don't really know how to react to compliments and might seem unimpressed whenever someone tells them how fantastic their new hairstyle looks. That's because INTJs are uninterested in matters that are superficial to them, such as their appearance, clothing, or gestures. If you're going to compliment an INTJ, go on a different route from the traditional flatteries. Try asking for their help, spark an intellectual conversation, and discover their favorite topics of discussion. Number 5. Love Language It's very difficult to date an INTJ because of their unique perspective on relationships and human connection. But like in relationships, you need to understand your partner's love language. There are five love languages according to author Gary Chapman. Words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. INTJs prefer the most quality time and acts of service instead of presents, cuddles, and, you guessed it, compliments. INTJs have very low social batteries, so if they choose to spend time together, you better make sure you know you're special. You might also not hear the words, I love you, very often, but their loyalty, protection, curiosity, and actions speak louder than any words. Number 6. Sensory Overload Sorry, we didn't like that either. INTJs are known for deeply focusing on their own thoughts and ideas, so every strange, outside noise or stimuli can sometimes be very stressful for an INTJ. Pleasant sounds such as their favorite music or the calming, relaxing sound of an empty forest are perfect for INTJs, but negative stimuli such as loud, unexpected noises or bright lights can cause major panic for them. Also, how many times have you gone to the kitchen and realized you had no idea what you were supposed to do? That's what happens when you have a dominant, introverted intuition. Number 7. That's just my face. Do you think Lady Gaga wrote Poker Face with an INTJ in mind? Because that's the typical facial expression of an INTJ. Because emotions are very complex for an INTJ, visibly showing them is a very difficult task. That doesn't make them soulless objects. Of course they smile when they see a cute puppy or laugh if your joke was good enough, just that they perceive emotions differently. And also, they have their own taste of humor, which includes sarcasm, irony, and dark humor. Number 8. The eyes, Chico, they never lie. What goes best with a poker face, you might ask? Well, certainly a piercing gaze with a touch of death stare. 
INTJs have a very interesting eye look, very intense and intimidating, as they perceive all the information they receive. Don't take it personal, though. Most of the time, INTJs are just thinking and living inside their own mind, not realizing how threatening or uncomfortable they may seem to others. Number 9. Random Facts Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Of course you do, only if you're an INTJ. They know every single random fun fact possible. If you're ever curious about who invented the seatbelt, what's Drake's real name or who's currently the oldest person on earth, you know who has all the knowledge. Never underestimate the intellectual capacity of an INTJ. If you also have a random fun fact you want to share with us, please leave it in the comments. Number 10. Lists and more lists. INTJs like to know every single detail in advance and would probably plan their entire life ahead if they could. However, they do realize that in order to make progress and grow as an individual, it's important to get out of their comfort zone. They just like to do it in their own way, taking calculated risks because they are very logical and analytical. You'll never see an INTJ playing roulette, but you will definitely meet many INTJ chess or strategy games players. Number 11. Their dreams are not big, you're just thinking small. One of the most ambitious people in the world are INTJs. Elon Musk, Nikolaus Tesla, Isaac Newton, Bill Gates, or Friedrich Nietzsche, we can all agree they had big dreams, dreams that would change and make a strong impact on the world. And of course, they did it. Multiple factors helped them achieve those goals, but their confidence, courage, and get-it-done attitude are pure INTJ's traits. Others would only dream to have INTJ's ambitious nature. Number 12. Zodiac Signs Although INTJs are skeptical when it comes to spirituality, religion, or astrology, there's no denial that some zodiac signs share common characteristics with the INTJs. For example, Capricorns and Virgos are very organized. They have a logical sense of thinking. They are loyal and decisive. Did you know that Carl Jung, who first identified the four cognitive functions Myers and Briggs later developed in their personality work, was very passionate about astrology? Perhaps he saw something in the stars. Number 13. Ka Ching Perhaps there's no coincidence that the world's richest man alive is an INTJ. With dreams this big and an ambition like that, there's also a big chance that you will be very wealthy if you're an INTJ. Most of them prefer to be self-employed. However, since they like to organize their own routine, prefer to spend time alone and not argue with a superior who's clearly not fit for that position. INTJs are more likely to work in science or technical fields with the salaries ranging from $80,000 to $200,000 per year. Number 14. Just do it. Tomorrow. Yes, an INTJ can achieve anything, but it must be on their own terms. They know they can do it, so why not sleep a few extra minutes or watch another episode on Netflix? They're the kind of person that say they're going to start working at 10, but if the clock hits 10 in 3 minutes, they'll say to themselves they'll start at 11. Don't worry, they never miss a deadline and always deliver the best results. Are you surprised by what you learned in this video? What was the most unexpected fact about INTJs? Comment below and don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!